you know that what you put on your plate matters a lot? Food that you eat affects not only your health, but also the surrounding. It can even be like an awful push to the planet. Do you want to know how? Keep watching MVTV shows to discover how. And today, we invited five important persons to talk about conception and its impacts on the environment and listen to their point of views. For this special episode, we invited the environmentalists Ms. Emma and Mr. Phil, who did many specialized studies about this topic. Bad eating habits and consumerism became so common at the time being, and we can see it in many different aspects. One of the most dangerous aspects is the fact of waste in our food, and it is getting more and more worse. Therefore, it has a huge effect on the climate change and is annually responsible for 3 billion tons of carbon emissions around the world and makes up up to 34% of all the methane ejected. Can you believe that it is the third biggest cause of greenhouse gas emissions? This is a very bad news since it leads to worsen the global warming crisis. In addition, some types of meat are the biggest source of methane gas, so if we produce more than we need, it will be surely burdensome to the planet. That's why we find nowadays many people who are vegetarians and who defend our mother earth. What's more, wasted food is considered as litter and it will be dumped in landfills. As a result, those places will be overcrowded with garbage and there will be much trash to burn, since burning is the most common way to deal with rubbish. This can even spread pandemics, sicknesses, and those landfills can be the nest for toxic insects. We should also keep in mind that every kind of food we throw was produced thanks to enormous amount of energy and especially chemical products that are undoubtedly a threat to our environment. In fact, an organic food, especially fruit and vegetables, are well sold in markets and people do not disapprove of it even though they know that pesticides, fertilizers are used on them. This type of food weakens the soil and threatens the agricultural future in our planet. Next generation may starve to death because of the inability to grow food to eat. That's why people should stop being fascinated by the great appearance of contaminated fruit and vegetables and start consuming organic because it is obvious that the more unorganic food people buy, the more much bigger quantities farmer will produce. Thank you, Emna, and we also went to Mr. Davy, the most famous influencer all over the world, and asked him about his point of view. In my point of view, it is totally unjust and logic to prevent ourselves from all the kinds of tasty and delicious food just for the sake of the environment and the future generations. Food is made to prof get profit of. How can we lose the right to enjoy ourselves and this different kind of food? Added to that, fast food is an obligation in our present life. We can't always waste a lot of time cooking and preparing healthy meals. I personally can't stand living without fast food, since my schedule is always full. There is no time for me to eat organic and healthy just to protect the environment. I believe people are allowed to be selfish, a little bit at least. They should stop caring about the surrounding, uh, but they ought to satisfy themselves instead if they decide to stop consuming junk food, that will be certainly due to their health. Whoa! It looks like there is an interesting reply from Ms. Martha, the most known dietitian in the country. Let's hear what she has to say. I really felt sorry after hearing what Mr. Davis said. Such influencer can really implant a bad way of thinking in his fans. Your diet doesn't affect only the surrounding. It has several effects on your health. Even bad eating habits has short-term consequences. Don't you know that your diet affects your brain as well as your mood? It can contribute to stress, tiredness, as well as your capacity to work, added to blood pressure, heart diseases, tooth decays, and serious illnesses that may lead to death. That won't help you if you want to save time and be more productive, right? In the other hand, we should admit that there are many recipes that we can make in a really short duration of time. Believe it or not, they may be a lot tastier than junk food. It's not like heavy food is awful. It's up to you if you want to enjoy it or not. 
You know that we're not done yet. We still have some more surprise for you. You will see after a few seconds, Mr. John, the CEO of Sugar for All brand and the owner of the largest factory of sweets who will express his opinion as a businessman. I personally think that reducing consuming will affect businessmen financially and reduce their production. We should all admit that food production is necessary in our modern life. We can deprive children from sweets and chocolates, of course. The majority of kids love it and prefer it. Besides, they ought to consume their products, which are made in factories because they help them grow up and make their bodies stronger and there are many other benefits. Moreover, we need uh, canned food uh, that is necessary in uh, cooking like uh, canned tomatoes and can save time and effort spent in cooking. Uh, in addition, we can find other solutions for uh, pollution problems. We can make more landfills away from cities and seas. We can also hire more dustmen uh, and uh, increase their salary and uh, better equipment in cleaning. After being with Mr. John, we'll go straight to Mr. Field where he gave us his reply about what he heard of our previous interviewing. I don't think that Mr. John is right. The modern society of consumerism and rampant development is destroying our world. In fact, system activities, including production food, transporting it, and storing waste food in landfills, produce greenhouse gas emissions that contribute to climate change. Of these sources, livestock production is the largest accounting for an estimated 14.5% of global greenhouse gas emissions from human activities. Our water systems also are currently being threatened by the crops we grow and food we produce. In many countries, agriculture is the leading source of eutrophication. That is a problem that's grown exponentially in the past 50 years. Globally, the eutrophication of coastal systems has risen from fewer than 75 systems in 1960 to more than 800 systems today. This situation is expected to worsen as the global population increases and the demand for food grows. In order to find solutions, we ask the Minister of the Environment to welcome us and answer us with pleasure. In my point, I see that to avoid the bad effects of consumerism on the environment, you need to consume less food and mainly meat to help the environment. Besides, you ought to teach children how to have organic meals in order to make new generations that keep the environment clean. Moreover, it's recommended to let students themselves find consumerism effects and suggest solutions to save the environment. I also advise you to separate your garbage cans and if you are interested to know how you can visit my Facebook page, you will find a complete cue that explains how to organize them. Furthermore, consuming food causes a lot of waste like papers that come with sandwich or almonds and pins of or metallic cans that come with canned food or plastic and glass flasks of water and soft drinks. We should build more recycling centers to reduce the amount of trash. Oh, sorry, I forgot about something. The campaigns. We should organize campaigns in order to sensitize people to the, uh, to the importance of reducing consuming to keep the environment safe and clean. Well, that's the end. Thanks for watching and see you the next week.